If you want to be part of what we're doing here at WBONTV.com and advertise with us, email us at information at WBONTV.com or send us a message on Facebook or Twitter. Our video stories now have over a million organic views and over a million people reached organically. Get watched, get noticed, get Richmond's very own. WBONTV.com. From the studios of WBONTV.com, I'm Marissa Hempel and this is your Tuesday afternoon news brief. A shooting in Richmond last night resulted in injuries to one man in his leg. According to police, the incident occurred just after 11 p.m. on Moberly Avenue. The victim was hit in the leg by one gunshot as he was walking home from the Ready Mart. Lieutenant Colonel Rodney Richardson of the Richmond Police Department says they cannot release much information at this time as the investigation is still underway. However, the victim reports that he allegedly knows the shooter as they had been in an altercation earlier that day. At this point, no arrests have been made in the case, and the victim had surgery on his gunshot wound at UK Hospital today. A Scott County couple has pleaded guilty in court today to nearly 40 counts of animal cruelty. Brad and Michelle Lee will not be facing jail time, but the couple is restricted to own no more than two dogs and they will also pay fines. Earlier this spring, animal control officers had taken animals off of the Lee farm, including horses, alpacas, and pigs. A dead horse was found on the same farm months later, spurning more charges. The two must also stay out of any legal trouble, according to the judge. The Richmond Police Department, in partnership with local retail loss prevention officers, successfully charged 56 people with nearly 90 shoplifting and drug charges. The local law enforcement agency had the highest number of charges as a result of the three-day operation, even compared to Louisville. Officers made an effort at local stores such as Lowe's and the Richmond Kroger to keep an eye out for shoplifters and crack down on those stealing from the businesses. Watch the story up on WBONTV.com now. A man that has been convicted of killing a Harrodsburg police officer appeared before the parole board in Mercer County today to plead his case. John Paul Works had been sentenced to life in prison for the murder of Officer Regina Nichols, who was shot and killed in 1998. The parole board sent the case to the full board for next Monday as they reportedly were not convinced that he regretted his decision to shoot the officer as she had been investigating the report of a suspicious man that fall night. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.